therefore ask the Congress, above and beyond the increases I have earlier requested for space activities, to provide the funds which are needed to meet the following national goals. First, I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. We have in the program uh, of the United States a solid step-by-step -step, uh, forward-moving program with each step building on the next. In the late 1950s, America's space program was still in its infancy, and NASA was considering several approaches to booster rocket retrieval, including the use of a huge air tug. After a decade of developing rotors powered at the blade tip by ramjets, rockets, sonic engines, and turbines, Hiller Aircraft was brought together with NASA to develop a concept that would catch a spent rocket booster in midair as it fell back to Earth following a launch. Successful air retrieval of small capsules from orbiting space satellites had become a routine procedure starting in the early 1960s. The Hiller Aircraft project had something much bigger to catch the mighty Saturn V rocket. The recovery aircraft would be capable of catching this massive 400,000 pound booster rocket descending on three huge parachutes in midair and transporting it 400 miles to Cape Canaveral. The answer? A recovery helicopter dubbed the Air Tug. It was to be the largest aircraft ever built. The air tug would have a rotor blade diameter of 400 feet and weigh over 400,000 pounds. It was so big that the rotor blade would rotate at only one revolution per second, while the outside tip of the rotor would be traveling at the speed of sound. The rotor itself was so large that someone could walk inside. Feasibility for this project was made possible with the research and development of the tip turbine concept by Hiller Aircraft. The giant helicopter would travel 400 miles to a predetermined drop site. It would then wait up to six hours at an altitude approaching 20,000 feet. As the descent of the heavy spent rocket would be slowed by huge parachutes to 35 feet per second, a window of opportunity would present itself. The air tug would then swoop down from above and snare the appropriate parachute. A study by All-American Engineering Company, a partner on the project, indicates there would be time for a total of three attempts. In a preliminary study, NASA accepted the catch concept, giant size recovery craft, and a probability of success. However, NASA decided to go with another consideration, the space shuttle.